Welcome to Go Academy, Season 2, Episode 5. Now, Lynx and Toma told me that this episode isn't really canned anymore because of the fixed version, but this episode has the better duel, in his opinion, so we're checking it out. Pendulum summoning. Absolutely not! You can't just run on using summoning techniques for the future! Enough of your pointless dribble! I'm going to save So pendulums will exist in this universe, they just don't exist now at the time this we don't even know what Toma is. In the time they're in. That would be something it'd say like zone like from the future, all these people use links, pendulums. Maximums! Imagine evolutions. Simp. So what would you rather us do? You want us to focus on you? Wait, we don't have to worry about that. Because your parents are so useless to pathetic duelists, the barriers aren't even targeting them. Damn. You pompous rich. Enough. What is wrong with you two? You need to be working together. Who his parents? Who Primo's parents are? Now shut up and quit bickering. You need to find my. Like we obviously, Lynx and Toma are two of them, but to the third hero. Question mark. Absolutely not. We can theorize, of course. Maybe Scott, but you know, just theories for now. I couldn't agree more. Oh, isn't this just so lovely? Hey, love. Oh, that was nice and consistent. Good work. All right, and this here's your dormitory. Hmm? So you're my new roommate, huh? The name's Ethan. Tell me. I wish they were roommates. Yes, name's Toma, and I'd say I know how to throw down. Really no. Why don't we go put that to the test? They immediately oh, duelled in. What? Not too bad. You're definitely a guy I can rely on. Huh. Ethan what won the say? first duel. That's a surprise. What's... And then Ethan never won a duel against him ever again. Oh, I'm really sorry to cut this short, but I really need to go. Okay. I don't know if he was using the Amazon yeah, stick at the time, though. Right now, my best bro needs me. And I'm really letting him down. So I gotta go find him. I gotta do whatever it takes to find him. Also, Link's and Toma did clear up some of the confusion oh, of the previous couple of things, so if you want to check out my reaction to episode 4 or 3, please in the comments, so yeah. If you had any questions, of course. Oh, gosh, I'm so sorry. Oh, hey, it's you, and you look fine in Toma. I'm sorry, but what are you talking about? He's literally right behind me. When did you change clothes? What's going on over here? Uh, oh, well, according to this weirdo, I was supposedly in a different outfit and looking for someone who looks like you. The hell you mean this weirdo? We just told like ten minutes ago, and you were overly confident, picking on me and saying all those things. I even told you my name, and it wasn't somebody like him. You were looking for him. He was kidnapped. Oh, my yeah, God. we. He's making me very uncomfortable. All right, hey, imagine hearing this thing. What are you talking about? I just talked to us just five minutes ago. Uh, no, I wasn't here. What the fuck? Shut the hell up, Toma. I ain't talking to you yet. I'll get to you in a minute. Wait a minute, Toma. I told you. I thought you were kidnapped. God, I love Ethan's reactions. Kidnapped? Kidnapped for what? And by who? We just arrived on the island. Well, congratulations on getting free. I don't know why, but the closed eyes face gets me every time. We weren't kidnapped. We just arrived from New Domino City. Wait a minute. So then you weren't kidnapped? Nor in the mountains? And who's the other blue head? Actually, you have it backwards. You're on the right path, but it's also the wrong path. If that makes sense. You have a girlfriend. That's the most unrealistic thing in the series. <laughs> Ethan, you're an idiot. <laughs> hey, listen, while you do Mr. Crazy, I'm gonna head back to my dorm. Very well then. Let's do this. Let's do Okay. Ethan I'll versus the true Rio Toma. Now let's see. What do I got? Okay, I'll start things off activating the black. That's it is that is a great start. Every time I normal summon a black wing monster, I get to add another black wing monster from my deck to my hand, so long as that monster is weaker than the monster I normal summon. Correct. Next, I summon a black wing mistral the silver shield. And, <laughs> and you mode. start with a weak ass monster like that. But then again, you're, if you're allowed to normal summon a defense mode. Eh. Takes effect, and I choose to add black wing go food the vague shadow. Ooh, zero zero. Next, I activate the spell card known as Star Changer. 
So now I can add a level to my black Why? So it becomes level three. Next, because I can ah, of course. Monster, I can now summon both Blackwing for the spear. Gonna go into Blackwing Black Armor Master immediately. It's time for a synchro summon. Now, witnesses, my two birds of prey. Now combine into one. I tune my level three Blackwing Mistral of the Silver Shield to my level four Blackwing for the spear. So I'm able to synchro summon Blackwing Armor Master. You get the synchro summon theme too. Nice. Maybe it's his ease theme. It's quite a special summon theme. You got some theme music for it. Do not use this if you have Blackwing Dragon on the field. Because pe because if you activate it and try to bring back the card, Blackwing Dragon's effect will trigger, meaning you don't take the damage, so you don't get the monster. Unless you want to reduce your opponents with the act points by 700, but that's something entirely. But now it's my turn, so stand back. I had to find oh, out the hard way. I do the Amazonist still. Next, I sacrifice my Amazonist spy, so I can tribute summon Amazonist Queen in attack mode. I get why it's done, but I kind of wish there was a throne behind her in the summon so in the animation. The but hey, oh, she's in there at all. I'm not complaining too much. Now then, my glorious queen, take aim and destroy his black winged armor master! You can't. You can't even deal damage. Yeah, well, due to his special ability, I don't take any damage! I now place three cards face down on the field. Now I end my turn. Alright, then it's my turn again! Damage is the order that cannot be destroyed and by for battle my cards. First move, I'm resummoning black winged missile to silver shield. You got another and one? Defensive mode. Then to end my turn, I'm placing one card face down. Go on. Hang on to that value. Or go through. This is very obviously a trap. Question is, do I want to spring it or play it safe? On the offhand, there was a chance that this could be a bluff. Well, there's only one way to find out. Go, my queen. Attack and destroy it flatly. Miss from the silver shield. I knew it. It was a bluff. <laughs> Well then, with that all said, he's been playing mind games. Another yeah, one. His, his spell and trap zone is full. My monster and destroyed it. Now I wonder if you could attack me again. Attack him again? I just destroyed his only monster without fail. That card didn't flip up. Unless was it not a bluff? And so with that all being, is he think that Silver Shield's effects could activate on his next what? turn? Well, whatever. It doesn't matter now, because I'm going to end Because Silver Shield does not work like that. Yes. It's the next immediate like attack. You, you skip to your next couple of turn. Go. The end. Start off, I'm activating the track card known as Amazon is Hot Spring. By activating this card... I still can't believe that card's real. Ooh. To my hand. Furthermore, once per turn, any damage I receive now becomes light. I was certain there was going to be anime exclusive for the longest time, but no, it's real. Reduced in fan service compared to the anime version, but kind of obvious that it's going to happen. Now with the preparations complete, go my Amazon is queen, attack Ethan directly! Trap card Oh! Your turn just came to an end! Because due to my trap card, your battle phase is instantly negated! That's why he was saving it, alright. That was gonna be a mistake, but no, 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 he's actually playing smart. It did what? So now Thanks for the free synchro summon! And now it's time for my amazing comeback! And I'll start this comeback by summoning Blackwing, Gale the Whirlwind, in attack mode! Oh boy. Remember, since I normal summon, Black Whirlwind now takes effect, and I get to add a monster from my deck to my hand, so long as it's weaker than Gale the Whirlwind! At long last, finally, I'm gonna put you in your place, Toma! Again! And the very special ability of Blackwing, Gale the Whirlwind! He allows me to pick the monster's attack points in half! So I'm a master! Attack now it's reduced to 1600. Oh, no. But it can't be destroyed by battle. Oh yeah, my queen can't be destroyed in battle. Ah, okay, just don't take a damage. Nope, sorry, that's not happening either. Because now my hot springs takes effect. And that damage now becomes life points. So thanks for the heal. Feel so refreshing. <laughs> All right, boys, you got an answer for everything, don't you? You goddamn right I do. <laughs> <laughs> Very well, then it's my It was a good play, and it just 
It didn't work out the way he's going. Why didn't he attack the princess? I guess he didn't want to heal even more. Uh, heal Toma more. So with that being said, go my queen, destroy Blackwing, heal the whirlwind! Now Queen's Pawn takes effect. So from my deck, I special summon Amazon as Swordswoman! And so now I activate the magic card Amazon as Secret Arch, which allows me to fusion summon! Oh boy! Oh wait, there's Amazon as Pendulum, so Toma... If we do get Pendulum to so eventually, Toma's up for grabs. Now my Divine Empress, take aim! And take on his Blackwing Armor Master! Next, I activate the trap card, Amazonus Willpower! Now I get to target an Amazonus monster in my graveyard, resummon it to the field, and that monster has to attack! And so, Queen's Amazonus back. Queen, would you please strike down Blackwing, Mistral the Silver Shield! No Piercing. Due to Empress's effect. How did you deal my damage? It's Empress's effect activated. See, Empress allows all Amazonist monsters in the field to deal piercing battle damage. Rather, well, it's a lingering effect, so I don't know what the effect that being at this point, but it's not completely Mom's wrong. So no, Mr. Effect. effect from my graveyard. Whenever he's destroyed by battle, the next time I take battle damage, it's reduced to zero. Well, then I guess that's it. I end my turn. Good, then it's my turn. And first up, I'm summoning Blackwing Kalima the Haze. Kalima the Haze? Mode. You have Since Bayou in your hand. Haze, it's our Gofu. What are you holding on to it for? Let me draw a monster card from my deck to my hand, so long as it's weaker than Kalima. And then to end my turn, I'm placing one card face down. And that's all. That better be a Third busted card. It's my turn. Now that my Divine Empress go and attack, strike down Blackwing Kalima the Haze. Yeah. Now then, my queen, wrap this up for me! Go and attack Ethan directly! Alright, answer boy! Let's see your answer to this! I what? Trap card, black wing, oh, black crap! Black. As long as I got five black wings and more chilling out in my graveyard, this card automatically destroys all your monsters! I activate my Empress's special ability! What? She protects all the Amazonist monsters from card effects. Meaning the only monster I'm using is my Empress. By the way, since it's technically still your battle phase, I removed Kalima the Haze from my graveyard, so now I can resummon. I don't know if this is legal, to be honest. I don't play Kalima the Haze. Well, Probably not, but so Nixon Toma turn. has gotten better in season two, so since I could be wrong. Comes to an end, I lose block wing off. All right, well that didn't go as I planned. No, but it's time for a on worse. And to start off that brilliant plan, I'm summoning Blackwing Bane the Steel Chain. To start off my brain plane is steal this Bane the Steel Chain. Now then, Blackwing Bane the Steel the Chain. Bane Steel Chain, Take sorry. And gain eagle's eye view of Toma. Aim directly for his life points. Again, once per turn, my hot springs now takes effect, meaning now I can gain life points equal to the damage I would have received. Wizards at that princess. Turn. I draw. You know, Ethan, I have to give you credit. You've been down oh so many times, but never quite out. That's in this duel. Ooh. What the hell do you mean? What did you just draw? I now activate the magic card known as Refuse. Oh. Paying 800 life points, I get to Empress is back. Monster. So I Amazon is the bridge in attack mode. Now then, my divine empress, attack and destroy Blackwing Bane the Steel Chain! It's over. Oh, man, not again. man, Ethan put up a really good fight. He just would not well, stay want. down until like it was those? finally over. Definitely are the real yeah, yeah, sure. Ethan's streak is over, but <laughs> I don't care. For me? I was told Seto Kaiba was going to be here. Is he here? What, like the Seto Kaiba? I mean, yeah, I heard he was gonna be here too. I guess I that was the him. error that they brought up earlier. Maybe we was... So, you heard what they said, hmm? right? Do you believe what they said on the radio? You can't honestly tell me you believe they're gonna build that bridge. I mean, come on. We're trash to them. 
Would you Satellite. have trash in your city? Choma, are you filling his head with lies again? Huh? But it's true. They hate us. Well, guess what? I believe it. Huh? There's no way you can honestly tell me you think they're gonna finish that bridge so we can have a better tomorrow. Well, of course I don't believe the demonizing government of New Domino City that treats us like trash is gonna build us a safe haven ticket. But I think we can. I think we could build the bridge. No matter how long it takes, we could build it. We could stop the oppression. We could be free. And we can get out of here. And we totally I'm won't serious. be stabbed they in the back as free. we're being <laughs> broken into. <gasps> I can't believe it's been a whole year. I wonder how everybody's improved. What's the rush, trader? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, what? What? You heard me. You lost the school duel. Then you abandoned our school for a whole year. Wait, what? Well, I came back. Like that. Too little, too late. It doesn't matter what I think about you. The school still views you as one of the top female students at this school. So I'm going to use you as practice for the carnival. Uh, okay. I guess that's as good a reason as any. Just like you're still All in the show, right, I guess. I'll go first. And I'll start off by summoning up the Iron Chain Snake in defense. Maybe, that, maybe those couple of dual things I brought up were the reason why this is considered going to the can. Turn, or maybe there was an error in the scripting. Right. Or something, or the plot, something is just like actually this would ruin the show or something. I know you want to make the best product you can, but errors in the dueling can be forgiven. So I'm just gonna assume that there was something in the script that was wrong. He already has two monsters on the field. Yep. I'm not finished yet. Next day, Still playing the dinosaur dragon deck. Ooh. Ooh. she has three. Now then, Gilosaurus jump <laughs> out her iron chain. Like, how is that Ooh. surreal? Next up, my other Gilosaurus. Attack It's sparkly, directly. too. Nice yes, rarity. So I activate a trap card. <laughs> my trap card now activates. Because I took battle damage, I'm allowed to resummon a monster from my I think you take damage so and then the trap activates, the but damage, I just took. good enough so to I say correct order. And that'll do it for me. I end my turn. Do you think you're impressive for summoning a bunch of monsters? Well, you aren't the only one who can summon a scaly lizard. Mm -hmm. I activate the magic card known as Double Summon. Now I'm allowed to make two normal summons this turn. Very well. First up is my Iron Chain Blaster in attack mode. A level three. Then I summon the Iron Chain Coil. Another level mode. three. Oh Next boy. Another magic I'm sorry. Blasters two. I thought it was. I think it was a three in the anime. And so now I tune my level three iron chain coil to my Maybe coil was a four. To synchro summon iron chain I, I used to play iron chains. I didn't put blaster in the deck because no. The way, for every iron chain monster well, maybe I did, but graveyard. the point my is iron chain no. Dragon gains an additional two hundred attack points. So with that being said, iron chain dragon. Destroy Hagilosaurus! <laughs> Since Iron Chain Dragon dealt you damage, get you milling. have to discard the top three cards of your deck. Aw, oh, man. And with that, I said I three, not two. two. Alright, look out! It's party time! I activate the spell card known as Polymerization! So now I fuse my Gilosaurus with All the right. Terra in order to fusion summon Pointsaurus! Now she can attack Next directly. Next up, I'm activating the magic card known as Fusion Weapon. This Ooh. card will be equipped into a level 6 or lower Fusion Monster. So now, Horn Saurus gains 1,500 additional attack points. Horn Saurus, attack Soren directly. Um, excuse me. How can you do that when I have a monster on the field? It's Since called an effect. It's a special ability that allows him to bypass your monster. Go, prehistoric stream. <laughs> Yeah, those were some good duels in this one. It's a real shame this one became non-canon. I, I hope it's plot reasoning and not dual reasoning, because if, if we're just canceling it because of dual reasoning, then all season one is, can't, has to be redone. I'm kidding, though, for the record. Please don't do that. I'm getting... T I, I, I'm seeing enough reboots, damn it. But... But I get if it is because of the dual ring, then I get reasoning. I get, then I guess you just want to make sure you improve and don't make mistakes because you want to get in that cringe and stuff. So, and that I can somewhat respect it if that's the case. It's probably just a case of just being like something in the script is different. Mm. 
can't wait to bash a plot hole or something. Uh. If you want to clarify in the comments that you tell me, go ahead. It's a shame, again, it's even that Moon isn't canon anymore, but yeah, I get why you did it and then redid it as a new thing. And it probably shortened the script just because it'd be like, I just did this, I want to get over with ASAP. Let's just, let's just do this. But hey, you know what, you did a really good job and the stop motion is still solid, so yeah. Shame it's not canon anymore, basically, but you know, it's good work and you did a good job. Aside from the couple, like the uh, can't be Armor Master can't be destroyed in battle, which I guess is probably the main thing, but... I mean, the Kalu the Haze thing is really debatable. It's more debatable with me. Probably it isn't in, in, in the quickie, but, you know, I could believe that it was. Like an anime version or something. Yeah. Surprising stuff and a little backstory on Ethan and Toma, though, that they're from the past and stuff like that. And Ethan got Toma, a bit more of Toma's past. Ethan and Toma were roommates, and Toma's got a bit of a flashback. We could see a bit more of his past. Just wanted to build a bridge and then look what happened. And you know how that story ends. Sad. <sighs> I'm sorry, it's late. Yeah. Now Ethan's starting to uncover the mystery of what's going on with the Barians in a way. He's coming to the wrong conclusion, but he's on the right path. You know, he just took a left turn when he was supposed to take a right. You know, he's getting there. I wonder if you know if we're into the fake side and fake Toma again, then get suspicious again. Probably. Time will tell that tale, but yeah. Alright, next episode I'm then I finish with stop motion for a while until the uploads continue, but yeah. Let's see what happens in the fixed version, shall we? Later.